Welcome back to Benoni, South Africa, where we are all set for the last match in the round robin segment of the inaugural ACA Africa T20 Cup tournament. Uganda taking on Ghana in a very important clash. More important for Ghana because they're going to have to do all of the running and Uganda will look to control the proceedings. The pitch has played well and uh, this is the look of it today. The batsmen have had wonderful value for their strokes and uh, they've been able to play and measure the pace here and the bowlers those that have really put their backs in have also got some reward let's go tails, tails is a call it's a tail the has won the toss yeah we want to have a bet yeah that's wide has a flash at it no it goes for length over slip because of his pace, it will trickle down to the boundary for four. Cut away and uh, not too far from the man at Gully. Oh, it bubbled it on the boundary. Oh! He's pulled that with the front foot, the sweep as such, and on the roof. The power player was hoping to see some of this type of hitting. Yes, he's got hold of this one. He's got hold of it, and it's uh, beaten the man at long off. Oh, yes, hello, that's one of them. That's useful. That's on the roof, and at six. On the back foot this time around and through the covers, through the gap, and it's four more. On the back foot again, and it's the gap. And perhaps there were pedestrian in the approach just to get to the 10 over mark. Slow again, and uh, off stump is uprooted. No contact from the bowler. Floated and a lack of pace. Yes, uh, they are clearly looking to now get back to ball and a thick outside edge. Inside edge, in a flash. That was quick, rushed him. Now there's a run out opportunity and one stump to aim at. Hey, now he needs to jump over the ropes and come and bat because here's a second. He's hitting straight back to the bowler, who's done very well to, in fact, grab this on his follow-through. It was high up to on his right shoulder. Fabulous reactions. Edged and passed the keeper. A healthy one. Hey! Over the keeper. Last-minute effort by Obed Harvey. 100 up. Yes, he's hit this. Now, is he going to clear the man at square leg? No, it's not. The way the field has taken this ball, and from behind, we'll get a good idea too. You can see there, he's set, he's still, look at that, well taken. And um, I'll try to lead this over the mid-wicket area. Oh, it's a good take too by the keeper. Got it through the gap. That's going to be a teaser. That's going to be a teaser. Yes, it is. That ball keeps running away from you. It gets quicker and quicker. Oh, he's got all of this one. And that's out the park. It's into the grandstand. By a fair way, you'd say almost 10 meters. Oh, he's been castled. Opener came into bat less than a runner ball. Something about that doesn't make sense. Oh, boy. Oh boy, two and two. He's on a hat trick. Brilliant Joker skills here. Brilliant. Excellent Joker lens, Juma. Another good Joker. Oh, is there enough chance here? And I think that's it. Oh, that's going to be out. I'm afraid that's out. That's stone dead. Call his uh, ball is in. Keep his end is a better option. And this is why, because uh, he will be given run out. That's an inside edge, going to run away. 
Shots four of the final delivery it will take them to 153. The Ugandan top order to give them a good start. You feel uh, 150 would be enough for them to chase down that 134. It just was a case of not much happening and too many wickets falling too frequently. But they've got something on the board. That's by no means uh, a score to be laughed at. But let's uh, see how Uganda respond. These are the bowling numbers. Three for 28 for Kenneth Waiswa and then two for Jumamiyaji, one for Cosmas. That's been a good, a very good effort. Brilliant. Restricting them to 133. And the target is 134. It's a small target, but it's an iffy one in T20 internationals. 133 for nine is all Ghana could muster. Uganda have that target. Can through the gap, and it's racing away for four. Deep extra cover of point, and that's the reason why. And that would have gone to hand, and that's gone for four. Oh no! A regulation catch at first slip. Through the hands. And that's the first blemish. There it is again, and it's vacant on the leg side. Yeah, that one started on middle and it continued with the arm. Full slapped through the covers, and it's six runs. Oh. And that should be for. That's all it requires on this fast outfield. And when it beats the inner ring through the gap, it's four. Yes, we're all used to the big shots and the big laps around the corners. This one's also lapped around the corner for four towards fine leg. Oh, wow! Great catch! Wow, what a catch! Yeah, here it is again. So he's lunging forward and pushes at it. Oh, yeah. What a catch. Now that's legal. That's legal. And it's taken behind the stumps. <laughs> Continues to flirt with that line. Oh, and a misfield will allow a boundary. Probably 12 is uh, lean back and hit this over the top. That's more about a little flurry of boundaries there from Riazat to, to end the match. But literally, from the beginning, it's been Uganda's match. Winning ways with an eight-wicket win. And this will just set them up nicely. Come the top four, confidence will be high. They've now... There's a scorecard. Sezazi. 56 of 56, not out, so he becomes highest scorer in the tournament. Masaba, the captain, 32. And then Deuce did it, 10 of 15. Riyazat Shah came in, quick fire, 17 of 10, 135 for two. Wrapping it up in the 18th over. All it required was for Gandhi to play smart cricket, and the Ghana bowling lineup didn't really have the firepower. The captain turned to Eight, seven or eight of his bowlers, his players, to try and get a wicket or two, but it just was never enough. Only real success, Aziz, with two for 25. And it's now time to... Um, we'll shortly go down to Aslam Kota, not quite now, to talk to the winning captain, and it was all over. Never really uh, made to sweat at all, Uganda. Thank you, Aslam. So this is the match summary. Ghana, 133 for nine. 45 for James, Samson 39, and 15 for Daniel. Kenneth, 3 for 28, Chuma, 2 for 23, and uh, Cosmos, 1 for 21. Riaz had picked up a wicket as well, but uh, the two death bowlers were impressive. Ghana were very, very impressive. 135 for two. Did Uganda, well, they passed the score basically with two down in win by eight wickets.